We're going to try and see if this uh, starter will crank that engine correctly now. Then we can proceed to get some fuel in it. Hi, this is Ray with Easy Simple Mechanic and we're back today uh, working on this Lincoln Weldon Power Generator uh, engine to try and get that finished up and maybe we can uh, get it started today and hopefully if everything works out then we can start assembling the generator part of that. So I did do a couple of things uh, like I said, just here and there, but I got the covers on it and we'll get into that. But uh, I got to get that starter back in there because the bolts that I had, um, I guess, were not the correct ones. So I had to get some bolts for that. But uh, we'll go ahead and get that starter on there and we'll see if we can't get this thing, get some fuel in the carburetor and get this thing running for the first time. So let's get started on that. Well, as you can see, we've added the, the cover here. Uh, basically, it's just a few bolts. These are some side shields and the top shield. We do got to install the starter and we've got to put the gas tank on it. Uh, and uh, then we've got to run some wires to see if we can get this thing to start. So, um, I do got to get, get some fuel into the carburetor on this side, but uh, let's start by putting the, the starter on and see if it's going to crank okay. This bolt in here, which is the one in the back, and then we've got these two bolts. You know what? Let's get the. We'll go ahead and put the gas tank on it, just to have all the bolts on that need to be on there. So let me get this gas tank. I had to get these new bolts. The one that was there was really long because um, it had a, a really thick battery ground cable on it. So I guess they used that bolt. But in reality, it took these others that were much smaller. So we'll get all those on. I got this ground connected here. We're gonna try and see if this uh, starter will crank that engine correctly now. Then we can proceed to get some fuel in it. So as you can see, that works pretty good. Uh, 
we get some fuel in this carburetor and let me get this fuel hose on here but before I do that let me get a little fuel in the tank and see if that's gonna leak okay so I got this little fuel can Be enough fuel just to see if that's gonna leak on there or not for now and I'm gonna put some fuel inside this dish soap bottle and uh, try and get it inside that carburetor so let me get some fuel in here Okay, got some fuel in here. And let me get some in here. This carburetor uh, hose. I guess we could even just leave that bottle on there and see how that works before we do all that other stuff over here. I wanted to see if this is going to leak over here and then see if we got, yep. So we're going to have fuel there, so that works. just to see if it's going to run. Uh, what I do need is I need to get some some wires hooked up over here on the um, on the points as a kill switch. I need to get my kill switch wired in. So let me get that set up and then we'll come back and try to start this guy. Okay, so we got to get this uh, switch on there which is the start switch you really don't need to get it to, to get power to it because I can put a jumper straight to that wire but this is more so for being able to kill kill it in other words to shut it off as needed so I'm gonna go ahead and put that switch in there and I know I got you to the back. I, you guys don't want to see all of this. So, but uh, maybe what I do is I put this thing on. I turn this thing all the way around. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so here's the start, run, stop switch. This toggle doesn't have the spring-loaded toggle, so I may have to change that later on. I'm just needing some way of shutting that off when I need to shut that off. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that one. Let me get a smaller screwdriver. but it also goes up in here into the points. 
So that's basically the kill, the kill wire. We'll run it in the harness when we get it with the generator. But for now, we got to run it that way. And then the other wire we got to run is the ground wire that basically is going to have to go to ground so that it grounds out, shorts out the, the ignition once it's running. If it looks like we're going backwards, we are. I went ahead and I wired this kill switch here to try this out, but before we went any further, I tried to see if we had any spark uh, on the spark plug, and we did not. So to check to see if it was the coil, and I'm sorry I didn't record all of this because uh, I got a call, I guess, in the middle of that, and it cut off the video but um, anyways to check and see if it's the coil you disconnect all of the wires that come from the coil so the only thing impacting is going to be the um, uh, the magneto there uh, is going to be that and this is the grounding so you disconnect the ground and you try it and you see if uh, if you get any any spark at all if you get no spark then that means that the coils bad because this the only thing that would keep that from sparking would be this being grounded through the points so um, it looks like the coils bad I went ahead and pulled the flywheel off and uh, I showed how to do that, but it didn't it didn't record that. Anyways, you just use a steering wheel puller. You pull this bolt. I pulled the cover back off, and I pulled the flywheel back off. And what I'm seeing here is that the flashing coil that goes to the generator, um, it's got. It's, I'm looking at it, and it is burnt. Now that shouldn't impact this coil. I don't believe uh, that has anything to do with this coil being bad, but this coil wasn't sparking at all. So my thought is that uh, this thing here is uh, is going to have to be replaced. The only thing is this being as old as it is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a coil with a flashing coil on it for the generator. So I'm not sure how that'll impact the generator, but what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and go ahead and buy the coil, so at least the engine will run, I hope, and then we'll figure out what to do with this flashing coil. If I can't find one with the flashing coil on it, what I might have to do is do a rewind on this flashing coil or figure out what voltage is required uh, to uh, excite that uh, rotor on that generator or or get that thing to kick off uh, we might have to use a little battery or some other rigging but for the meantime I'm interested in trying to get the engine running uh, so uh, I may go ahead and go ahead and uh, order one of these uh, these coils and just to get the engine running once we got the engine running then we can go ahead and assemble the rest of it get it all put together and then if the generator doesn't want to produce anything or what have you, then we'll look at doing this. This can be taken off anyway. We can do this uh, later if we need to anyhow. So uh, I think that's going to have to do it though for now because I'm going to have to order the, the parts for this. And we'll see what we can find. I'll get on some forums and see if I can, anybody has one of those that I can use or, or get somewhere. But... Um, uh, yep, yeah. so it may be a little bit before I can move forward with this project. Um, 
I was kind of excited to see this thing run. I think uh, it's going to run great once we get it running, but we need to get this coil first. So uh, if you like the content or didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. But please like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.